Hey everybody, Bungzi here with another ultralight review on ultralight backpacking. I've been asked for my rain jacket recommendation, so here we go. I absolutely love the Mont Bell Versalite rain jacket. Today I'm going to break down why, and to do so, I'm going to pick on the much beloved Outdoor Research Helium 2, which most everyone uses or is at least familiar with. So shall we? I'll actually start with where the Helium 2 actually has the edge. There are two such considerations. The first is price. The Helium 2 typically retails for $159, while the Versalite retails for $199. I'll break down in a moment why I think the Versalite benefits far outweigh this $40 difference, but let me just say this for now. If you simply can't afford that extra 40 bucks, then I personally recommend you find an alternative to the Helium 2. I'm not a fan of this jacket. The other and only Helium 2 benefit is that it has a smaller, more space efficient um, stuff, storage pocket on the inside. While the Versalite comes with a stuff sack, which I tossed right away, excessive stuff sacking is a pet peeve of mine. Less is more when it comes to stuff sacks. Instead, I either just stuff the jacket as is into the outside elastic pouch of my backpack, or I just stuff the jacket into one of its own side pockets, which works as well. Now let's talk about the Versalite selling points. I'm going to start with fit. As I've mentioned before in other videos, I'm 5'11 and about 200 pounds with broader than average shoulders. I'm typically at the lower end of the size large fit range. The Versalite fits me great. It's roomy enough for layering and long enough to give uh, me that extra rain coverage if I want to loosen up the draw cord um, hem adjustment. As for the Helium 2, it fits me horribly. In a size large, it's already tied across the shoulder without any layering on. I also find it way too short. Every rain jacket should be a little on the long side, in my opinion, for the obvious reasons, rain. The Helium actually fits short, which is crazy. Now let's talk about comfort. Neither is a fleece, but the Versalite material is far more comfortable. The Helium, um, it, too, in comparison, has a rubbery plastic feel to it on the inside, which is where it counts when you're talking comfort. It's uh, all about the next-to-skin feel. Uh, the Versalite, in comparison, is noticeably thinner and less rubbery in feel, again, on the inside, where it counts. This is somewhat subjective, but just doing the stand around and do nothing test, the Versalite is noticeably less clammy. Let's now talk weight. The Versalite in a large, and on my scale, weighs 6.52 ounces, and the Helium 2, again, also in a large, and on my scale, weighs 6.6 .6 ounces. So there's a tiny edge to the Versalite on weight. Let's move on to features. Most importantly, arguably, the Versalite has pit zips and the Helium 2 does not. That's huge. No rain shell material breathes enough if you're active. The only way of really managing the climate on the inside of your jacket is venting and that's where the pit zips come in. Number two, the Versalite has two zippered hand pockets. The Helium only has a small chest pocket right around here um, while the chest pockets look slick, I find I never use those stupid chest pockets. As for hand pockets, they're invaluable. You can keep all kinds of stuff in there to keep dry. Your gloves, phone, camera, snacks, whatever. They are also particularly helpful in camp. I find as I'm milling around with my pack off, it's great having some pockets to stuff stuff in. Um, it cuts down on the back and forth to your tent. Moving on, both hoods are adjustable, but the Versalite has three points of adjustment. Yeah, maybe overkill, um, while the Helium 2 only has one. The Helium can only be adjusted in the back, while the Versalite has a Velcro tab in the back, as well as an elastic draw cord in the back and in the front, right here. As for cuffs, Versalites are adjustable, and the Helium cuffs are not. They just have partial elastic. The Versalite has Velcro tabs. They do both have elastic, elastic hem draw cords, though I'll repeat my criticism here again. The Helium is way too short, while the Versalite gives you an extra few inches, which is really important when it comes to staying dry. Lastly, just a comment about construction. 
Outdoor Research didn't do anything wrong here, but Mont Bell has out-innovated them and probably everyone else on this by using a very unique pattern that results in far fewer tape seams. So that about covers it. If you can afford the extra 40 bucks, this is a no-brainer. That extra $40 gets you a better design jacket with far more features, a much better fit, and is lighter to top it all off. If you can't afford that extra $40, I strongly suggest you buck the trend of just going with the Helium 2 like everyone else and try something, some alternatives. Well, that's all the time I need. I hope I gave you something to think about. Subscribe to my channel by clicking the Bungsy logo, and I'll catch you on my next ultralight review on ultralight backpacking. See ya.